Although I may look normal on the outside, I struggle a lot on the inside. On October 27th, 2015, I met my hero for the first time. My hero does not have two legs, but four and a bushy tail. My hero is my service dog, Creed. Creed has drastically changed my life. Before I adopted Creed, I was locked away in a world I didn't understand. I was a prisoner of my own mind, and I couldn't escape. But Creed, he was my key to freedom. Sometimes people look at me and they don't really understand that a service dog has impacted my life so much. I've had professors come up to me and ask me if I actually need my service dog or if I just actually want them there. But with Creed, I've been able to stay independent and live a life that I am enjoying. Before I adopted Creed, I wasn't able to go anywhere. I shut myself off from the ones around me my family, my friends. I stopped going to school and work. It was a really terrible time. I was lost and alone and scared, and I didn't know who to turn to. Medication wasn't working, so I knew there had to be another way. I actually researched into service dogs and realized that a service dog could actually make my life more bearable, but I was proven wrong. Creed has done so much more than just making my life bearable. He makes it enjoyable. I have been diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, sensory processing disorder, reactive hypoglycemia, and tachycardia. Creed is my psychiatric and medical alert service dog. Creed does so much more than just providing emotional support, which makes him different than an emotional support animal. He can do deep pressure therapy, which is where he lays across my chest or my legs and provides that sensory input and also the pressure to help calm my heart rate down and to bring me out of the episode just like that. He also does a command called watch my back, which is literally where he watches my back and lets me know if someone is approaching if my back's turned to them. And then he does an automatic cover, which is where he provides a barrier between me and that person. He can also turn on and off the lights, which helps me if I'm in the dark and provide a peace of mind and I'll know that no one's there and it allows me to look around the room and not get panicked about, oh my gosh, what if someone's behind the corner? We're working on training him to alert to my low blood sugar before it gets down so low to where I pass out or go into a coma. He's been taught how to open up and retrieve items out of the fridge and bring them to me whenever I'm having a low episode. He provides a peace of mind and because I may not look like I'm struggling on the outside, on the inside it's like torture. But with him by my side, I can accomplish so many different things. One of the biggest accomplishments that I'm going to ever accomplish is graduating college. A couple years ago, if you told me that you're going to graduate college, I would have never believed you because I was in and out of hospitals, residential treatment centers, and group homes. It was not a good circumstance and I didn't think I would ever graduate. I was constantly dropping classes and that's not how I wanted to live life. But with Creed, I can proudly say that I am graduating college this semester and I am graduating with Latin honors of magna cum laude and I'm also in an honor society of psych high. Creed has given me the power to accomplish so many things. I can go into Walmart with him by myself without anyone and I will rarely ever panic. If I went to Walmart before I got him, then I would completely panic because the crowds would be too close, the lights would be too bright, and the sounds would be piercing through my ears. And it would terrify me, so I would drop to the ground automatically and just start shaking, and I would lose touch with reality. I completely shut down, like my whole body. I could barely move, and I couldn't communicate with others. And so it would scare them, and it would scare me. If I am disoriented, he knows how to bring me back home or bring me to my car. One time I was just walking around on the streets, but he like stopped me from 
going across the street and getting hit by a car. Life without him would not be a life at all. People look at him and they don't look at my disability and I know that he's going to be there for me forever, just like I'm there for him. A lot of people have said that I saved Kate's life, but I see it a bit differently. He's definitely saved mine.